server side rendering, what it is, why you need and how it is useful. Let's take an example. Think about a scenario where you are somebody who creates cakes and you have to dispatch it to your customers. Now you have two ways. The first way is you dispatch all the ingredients with the instructions to the customer and let them build the cake themselves. And the second way is you build the cakes yourself, you create the cakes yourself and then send them. In the first scenario, you don't know how well the client would create the cake, how tasty it would be and they're using the ingredients in the right mix and so on. But in the second case, you're sure that even though you do a little bit more work on your end, but the end result would be much more tasty and consistent. Similarly, if you're doing client side rendering, you are sending all the JavaScript and basically the whole chunk of JavaScript to the client and let the client construct the DOM. If you're doing server side rendering, you construct the whole page on your server on your end and send a fast HTML representation of the page alongside more JavaScript if you want to to the client.